Here we go. Iron Chef, the famous You're a Smurf 33. Man, this guy sounds like he's salty before we even start the game. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's Acropolis, and... Yep, it's Acropolis. I wouldn't go out of my game chair if you deleted the hell you will. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. Uh, we go. Let's get this up. There we go. The Cumans for Iron Chef. I do remember him saying he liked to play them Cumans. And over here for the Ethiopians, your Smurf. Looks like it's gonna be archers against maybe a cavalry play from Iron Chef. That's what I'd imagine. I wonder if your scouts fuck with him. I, I want to see where the fucking happens. This will be interesting. Uh, the first thing that Cumans have is scouts. They have a really cheap stable, so they can build a stable. Get some cheap scouts out really quickly. This is an interesting move. Okay, so I hate. I don't. I don't do this. You can do this. I think it's very risky. I don't think it's a good move. You move out here. Twenty-five. If the um, HP on your villager, the scout finds you. This villager is now dead. Like, this is a very risky, risky move. If unless you have loom, you just, I, I don't want to do it. This villager, if this got found right now, or a scout, a scout looped around this way, this this villager is dead. I would much rather put one lumber camp here. Eat through at least one of these. I like to do a couple because I'm I'm really scared. I like to stay in my base. Maybe put like a TC here or something. It's, these are great spots for TCs. Um, I avoid this until like feudal age, ideally, or castle age even. But maybe it's a good idea to like get there early because if it does work out, you get some you build some early houses, some early walls around. You'll be a bit safer than if you just move out in feudal age. Because you're already dug in. You have some houses to protect your villages, but Bor comes in for the Iron Chef. Very nice. Let's see if his bills. Oh, his bills do it right. Yeah, nice. His bills building a house. There you go. Iron Chef's on top of it. Don't even need to worry about him. Hey, Beg, how you doing? That's part of why I like humans on this map. Yeah. Build the houses. On, yeah, or really like a TC here for Cummins? That'd be really, really Look, nifty, huh? Yeah, right? Or even, yeah, like here, that'd be even better, huh? Maybe, oh, like, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, well, yeah, welcome, welcome. We are watching a game with Iron Chef this here. Uh, it's not live, no, nope. we are watching a recording. Second TC Second makes, TC a makes it. Camp in the yeah, world. yeah, 100%. No. Boar comes in. This is the first boar from Eurosmurf. So, one thing Eurosmurf seems to be doing is taking the boar a little bit late. Iron Chef, as we noticed already, has eaten his whole first boar. That's very good. Good on an Iron Chef for staying nice and healthy. This man had his villagers all starving and hungry, and what he did is he ate through two of his sheep. Two sheep instead of a boar. He's gonna have. In the world. Played it last night. I can't wait. I can't wait for this game. I'm so curious to see what happens. <laughs> so long. Yeah, wait. Looks like the other boar's gonna come in now, but we should see that blue is very behind on food because of the way that. They've been slowly taking in the boars. Iron Chef at least took in the boars a bit faster. The second boar is already under his TC. This one, well, he's a little. Iron Chef was a little slow in his second boar, so he's catching up now. But I think there's still going to be a lot more food in the bank for Iron Chef right now. He's already, he's clearly got a lot more queued up. And oh no! Why are you getting Loom? He's idling TC. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Feudal Age! That was a whole villager of idle time right there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I Honestly, I've probably done the same amount of, of idle time. I probably did it today. I probably did it today. It was, I had some awful idle time today. But that wasn't, yeah, that wasn't ideal. Interesting lumber camp. Oh, I mean, um, barracks position as well. I'm, sh I'm sure Iron Chef doesn't or does have a barracks. I mean, <laughs> barracks coming up. 
making sure he's ready for that feudal oh, age. Oh, I still do it all the time too. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. And here's the big migration. Oh. Yeah, that's just good. And you need a lot yeah, of villages on wood on the way up. That's important. I'd say it's very important for Cumans to have a lot on wood on the way up to feudal age, unless you have a, a plan to do something in particular. I like a lot of wood for Cumans. I really like this lumber camp, actually. I'm Ukuman. You do. I usually imagine my lumber camp would be here or here, but put in the lumber camp is very nice. I forget about the things that happen in Acropolis. I don't play it enough. So we're watching about 1k, although I'm sure Iron Chef has I'm a more accurate idea. I, I I thought it was about 1k. I'm pretty sure that's what Iron Chef is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Iron Chef knows. Um, okay. Alright, we've got a feudal age halfway up for Iron Chef. Anything being built? Yeah, the archery range. Okay. So we're just going to see, like, is there going to be one range blacksmith? I'm hoping to see a blacksmith soon for this archery range player. Great scouting it from Iron Chef. And he's trapped! That was a quick reaction for a 1k player. I wouldn't expect to get trapped at that elo. I usually don't get trapped at my, early, my, my own elo. Like, even a high, like competitive players miss traps all the I time. That was a quick trap. Oh, no. oh. I don't really pay attention to low. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to be of a similar mindset myself. Yeah, what? Would you want us? Um, just have fun with the game. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Sounds like a good way. But one thing for sure is that there's not going to be any archers coming out of this archery range anytime soon. Because there's no gold. Um, we're all poor. And archers don't care about you if you don't have any money. That's a known fact. So, we're going to need to get some money to get some archers. They could make skirmishes. I don't really want to make open skirmishes against crewmans blind. Especially because that crewman's player is going for a stable over here. Uh, no TC yet. We'll see if Iron Chef makes a TC in the Feudal Age or makes it up to the Castle Age. I'm assuming from the, what the base is looking like, he might be just making it on the way to Castle Age. Keeping that one TC until uh, until then, so he can get a good uptime and get some technology. Yeah, right. And That's still the use the crewman bonus. The blacksmith over here, finally coming in for the Ethiopian player. They have two archers and three on... Okay, well, three on gold isn't enough to consistently produce archers out of one archery range, folks. You need four at least to be able to produce out of one archery range. Or seven if you're using two. Uh, depends on the sieve as well sometimes. But if, actually, I think it is relevant for Ethiopians. Don't they have like a... A cost difference? No, it's just fire accuracy. Yeah, it's just fire faster. Um, <gasps> they're not mines. Smith. Slowly training some archers, gonna have Ooh, four archers. Down. And Iron Chef, I'm assuming he's gonna have scouts. Nice, I was hoping he'd have some scouts. I think these are gonna be pretty, pretty fun. He's building a Mine's massive wall. Cheaper. These are very strange. Okay. Please, please tell me what these palisades are doing. I wanna find this man and ask him why he built these palisades. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> We have an attack, and the attack is... Can you trap him? It's, no, this looks like the front door. This looks like the front entrance. That's fine. You have a lot of scouts in there. I uh, I don't like to put my units inside the buildings if I've got, like, scouts. I want to put, like, two forwards straight away. If I've got two scouts, Those two scouts go straight at the enemy. They don't stick it inside, because, no. uh... I mean, I guess it's kind of good here if you, you should just surprise them. Oh, it is traps! Nice! A trap for a trap. You guys love trapping people. Oh, that's really funny. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, eh? And here we see if these uh, the scouts all staying together paid off. A couple hits from the spearmen, unfortunate so far. I thought the villager might be here to help fight the spearmen, to help get some free hits without getting bonus damage, and that spearman's just gonna kick off, sadly. These, these guys also have plus one, plus one. So these archers... Oh, this is not good. Don't fight with the villagers here. Alright, this is... I don't see this going very well so far. <laughs> Bye, Chef. 
Hopefully we get some, like a, we're gonna get an archery range. I'm really curious, because I don't think, I want to see, actually, this is gonna be important. The fog of war. This is, oh, he sees it! Why are you, what are you doing? He sees it, send one archer here. He sees, he literally sees the stable, the, 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 the lumber cap right here. What are you doing over here? This is where the stable is. Okay, two more scouts gonna clear this up. They finally got rid of the spearmen. A few villagers were lost, and I want to see the difference in villagers right now. Somehow, Iron Chef still has three more villagers. He's probably been producing villagers a lot more. And look at Blue's production. How many villagers is Blue making? Absolutely zero. And that means that Iron Chef doesn't even matter that he's getting wrecked at home. It's, just, it's a blood buff, but there's more blood to go around. There's not much to the burst about if you don't have any blood at home. Man. There's, um... I mean, it's not that much of a difference. Three bills difference is, is not huge. I think especially at this elo, it's easy to come back with three bills behind. But goddamn, like, produce villages! Blue, produce villages! Look, the, you guys can see this, right? If, he, if, he's, if he's producing a villager, you'll see it here. He finally queued one up. He queued up two. Oh, blue. Really asking for pain. At least Iron Chef is using wheelbarrow. Doesn't have to make houses. Can keep your TC nice and productive for a while. It's a great option. Um, good to get wheelbarrow once you've got. What is this? Thirty-eight vills into Shit wheelbarrow. Interesting. Hard. Yeah, that's about the earliest you want to get it. Um. Oh yeah, let's look at the farms, right? Farms are. Whoa! 19 farms compared to not that. Not 19 farms. It looks like 12 farms, if that. Looks like 10 farms. It's 11 farms. Okay, pretty close. And these, these three skirms, two skirms here is gonna kick ass, because. Uh, this Ethiopian player has made way too many spearmen. Just way too many. And it kind of makes sense. But now that we've finally got the range up, having scouts and skirms together, at least the threat of sc scouts, it seems, is really good. And. Okay. This is so questionable. You take these, you put them here, right? I guess they know that the skirms are going to come in and take it out. Combat, shut up! Combat! Stop it! <sighs> this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a menace to society. Oh, there's a watchtower. I didn't even see this watchtower. This is that's an interesting watchtower. I would hate making a watchtower as the Cummins. This is interesting. I would rather. I like. I obviously you were scared of those archers, and like if those archers, there were just there were two of them. Like I feel like if we just deleted these houses, put a TC here, Iron Chef. Like I'm sure you didn't have the wood or something, but a TC here would have been less stone, more protective. Not the laugh. Not the laugh track. That's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I would have tried to have wait. You didn't have the wood, that's fair enough. Like, TCs are expensive, and they take forever to build, so maybe maybe two archers would be enough. You know what, I'm thinking two archers is an, isn't enough, but because it takes so long to build, maybe that actually would do a lot of damage if you like had unprotected villagers just building a TC here, so maybe that is the right play. Uh, you know, it's not actually that bad. The thing about right now, though, is that you need stone. Having having a lack of stone is not going to be fun for you. Looks like they sold stone at the market to get up. We've got a boomer boy over here. Oh, nope, just just another TC. And both players are in car saves now. The difference is two villages. Very close. Okay, we've got ourselves a game, ladies and gentlemen. They're coming in to attack both players with very even vil counts. There's a little bit of raiding with the crossbows. Crossbows have a lot of potential to sit here. If they go on stand ground, if they if they get, well, if, if they walk in here, they're gonna die, or they're gonna die, right? If they sit here on stand ground, you can even put these guys on like defensive stands a bit further back so that they react to knights, but they don't um, go under the watchtower too much. 
Stand ground deletes this whole wood line for this player. Chef would not have an ounce of tree to chop if you had like right this tail here. Just, just all you need is those crossbows sitting there on stand. It was so, so close. And now, I mean, those knights were coming anyway, I'm sure. But there would have been a little bit more damage. Interesting lumber camp. I wonder if these are gonna get moves back onto that stone. It looks like you were trying to get onto that. Yeah, you're going. You're looking for the stone. That's a good idea. Gonna get some TCs up now for sure. So you, I feel like I'm kind of worried for Iron Chef right now because the thing about Iron Chef is that he only has one TC, and one TC is not the number of TCs you want in Castle Age usually. There's two TCs, and that means that the player with less and now has more villagers. Uh, military counts also almost identical. Just took a clean fight. Wow, we missed that. That was a lot of units that just died. I don't know if they were shooting or not. It looks like they weren't even shooting. Look at the damage on those knights. Were they even trying? What just happened? And I missed something here too. What is this? Oh, I'm a blind caster. I've missed all the blood. All the action. Alright. Let's see what these knights can do. I don't think just there's anything going pikes. on over here. Oh, a few pikes? Interesting. That looks like a lot of dead scrims over there. Here I feel like these... Here, okay, this is this is, this is is where I think this player's gonna get salty. Because this guy's gonna get in. Okay, not yet. But I'm almost certain that Iron Chef's gonna get in with these knights. These knights are menacing, they're gonna huff and they're puffing and they're gonna blow your walls down. There's, uh, there's not much escape for these. Bulletproof! There's... Oh, pikes. A lot of pikes coming around. I wonder if Iron Chef takes this fight. Now, because of the upgrades, these pikemen have zero blacksmith upgrades, and Iron Chef has very important plus two, as he has noted. As Beige has noted, sorry. It's important stuff, King! Yeah, it's true. <laughs> um, nothing going on here, really. So, we can keep looking at this fight as they clean up the pikes! I knew it. So because of the blacksmith upgrades, those pikes didn't stand a chance. They had zero blacksmith upgrades. Zero. And that means that these knights with plus two armor had plenty of time to chop through them without much hassle. Being here in Haibu Harash's TC is pretty good. They won't be able to, you know, use that TC for a while now. But it will be a bit more, a bit awkward if these pikes keep coming in. I really hope that Bloom. Blue's- oh my god. Guys, you see this? Seven? They have enough wood to make three more barracks. But instead they make five pikemen. They had seven pikemen in queue before. Uh, out of one barracks. And that's not enough. I think you need another barracks, sir. Keen to see if- well, if these go through, maybe not. No, yeah, they're on it. Let's see how this goes. There's a lot of knights out for- Iron Chef now. It looks like military 18. Yeah, if you have more knights than your opponent has pikemen, especially if your knights have much, much better upgrades, you're looking like you're in a good spot. I think Iron Chef should be very comfy in this spot right here. He's looking very good indeed. This is pretty cool. Um, this player needs to spam more pikemen out of more barracks with more upgrades. Spamming out of one is not enough to stop like, what is this? It's obviously going to be too, too stable production at this point, yeah. You've got the eco for it. Your 1 TC, 2 TC now. Nice, the second TC is up. And we have... The the player who's investing more in the army is kicking ass. That's pretty cool. I think the build difference is... Oh, it's identical! That's wild how the, the third TC has allowed him to stay in the race regardless. What, yeah, using 1 TC only. Yeah. Right now he's using zero of his three TCs, which is great. There's the barracks he fight you really wanted. Looks like someone stopped building that halfway through. That's too bad for him. And this is going to be hard to wall off. If there's a... Yeah, he's seeing the problem now. He's putting all the houses down. A couple of knights around here could be really annoying. Looks like they're going to clean up some more pikemen. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen a single upgrade come in for the Yoris Murph, so... Yorismuth is not getting uh, any good trades with his units. Okay. You see that pathing, guys? They they weren't attacking me. 
They weren't even attack moving. They like they were clicking in a direction and just hoping that they they just walked that way. It's beautiful. Oh, Iron Chef, you hypocrite! Iron Chef, you dare say that you hate the house drop? Look at this meta man over here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's better than clicking what? them to tell them to go somewhere. And what is this? These bills. Castle drop. This is a castle drop. This is the one thing that Iron Chef's been complaining about tonight. That's not a castle drop. It's not a castle drop. So what I'm seeing before me is not a drop of a castle on an enemy ATC. It's a get out of my game castle. Is that what you're saying? That is not a castle drop. Okay, the, I guess we have a different definition of castle drop. You mean like, you. you mean like here? Oh. That's for map control. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Makes sense. I guess you can just take this gold right under his TC. That'd be really funny. Please make a mining camp right here. That'd be such a dominant oh. move by the Iron Chef. You're really the chef of his gold. If you start cooking right in front of him. Hey! We found some some smack talk. You're an old Kuman pro. <laughs> You're an old Kuman pro. Just spam one unit for 45 minutes. Are you serious? Are you serious? Did we ha did he, we were watching the same games? I saw scouts. I saw knights. I saw skirms. I saw towers. For 45 minutes in time. <laughs> Where's the 45 minutes? We're not there yet. Your ETH? What do you want me to make? Yeah, hey. Your ETHY, it's true. What else would you make? Here's the battering ram. This is a great battering ram. It's technically under the castle right now, so it's gonna have a oh, great old time chucking that down. I know, right? The pro? The pro accusation. That's like the highest honor. It's great. How dare you be an old Kuman pro? <laughs> like, Kumans have been around for what? Three years? Four years now? I think I've been around for three or four years. Um, an old Kuman pro means you've been playing for four years, guys. Wow, what an old, what an old pro that Iron Chef must be. It's funny that he admitted he's old. I love how he's healing up his knights here. He's like, yep, we've done a lot of fighting, boys. We can just take it easy now. Sit back here in the castle. Love that. Oh, what's this? This is a crazy game. Oh, uh, here we go. I missed this. We can... How, so how? Can we talk about after game? Huh. All we've done is for what, 45 minutes is slam. Slam all one unit. I'm happy to. Why are you in this match? You're clearly not 1,000 EL. Oh my god. I want to see multi more of this player's games. Because they're... Their username clearly... <laughs> what do you think of the devs accidentally leaking the new sieves? I haven't seen it. What accidental leak did they do? Did I what? What did I miss something? I know you can scroll through here. Um, but still beat me to imp. Cool. <laughs> yeah. You just didn't have as good as an eco, I guess. Actually, why did you beat imp to imp? Iron Chef has less villages, which I find very interesting. That's probably part of the reason. Iron Chef's been floating a lot of food. Interesting. Uh, you stop in at least what? You s spent at least 10k gold on knights. You still beat me to imp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't miss anything. Um, cool. <laughs> you got the highest compliment. We we're up against the combat. We're up against the old Kuman Pro here. Can all this food into no upgrade, Pikesman? 
Oh, you can't even see that far back. Wait, yes you can. Yeah, you're an old Kuman pro. I love that so much. Just spam one. Because he didn't trash cat all his food into no upgrade pikemen. Yeah, into one barracks pikemen. Like, we can we can make more barracks. He finally made this barracks in like 30 minutes. Probably less, probably uh, after that. It was really slow. Ethiopian stables are not something an Ethiopian player usually wants to see. We have one Treb here for the Iron Chef. So Iron Chef has kept all these knights in here for like 10 minutes at least now. This is quite a while to keep all these knights here locked up. I think you should let them out, give them some, some fresh air. I think knights speech. knights need like a... Is it is it two walks a day and a bowl of water? Something like that. You gotta give it to them, you know? They're gonna get they're gonna get too rowdy, they might start kicking over your furniture or something. It's too many knights in one place. Uh, advanced to the Imperial Age. Congratulations. Has uh, a lot of plus one, plus one pikemen now. Please get plus two armor. At least. Like, your pikemen are going to be fairly irrelevant until you get plus two at this point. You need plus two to keep going and keeping up with your opponent. And that is not something we're seeing from blue right now. Are we seeing upgrades? Oh, there's a counterattack. There's one, two, three... Four bills down for Iron Chef, looks like. And Iron Chef's bringing out... Oh, I didn't even see Heavy CA come in. Look at me not looking at these players' upgrades. Heavy CA is a cool tech. It doesn't seem necessary, but maybe it is, because it's a good unit against these, these pikemen. CA is hard to use against pikemen, right? I'd honestly like, consider using skirmishes before I go to the CA, because... It's a gold unit that's so easy to lose if you're not paying attention. I guess right here under a castle is the best spot for them. Because you don't have to look at them that much. But if they're outside of a castle, you can lose the CA so easily. They're so squishy in some situations. But they do great. It's a fun it's a fun transition. I guess you have all these knights backed up here in case you ever need one of them. Or, or like 20 of them. Looks like there's no other expansions for... Iron Chef. Got Smurf over here, just chopping up some wood. Yeah, wait. Just eating some nice. gold. No players have taken a relic yet, I believe. Going a range in the back might want to go for. Oh, there's a lot in the queue. Look at Iron Chef. Oh, Euro Smurf's queue is actually pretty crazy. They're making skirms, they're getting chemistry, so they're going to have. And they're getting vodka. Okay, they're going to have some good upgrades for the skirms. They will have answer to the, to the Cav Archer, but the Cav Archer will be able to run around still. Camel Rider is terrible. They have Castle Age units. They have Omer's Feudal Age level units. Like, this is like early Castle Age upgrades. So the problem is, I'm sure Iron Chef has better upgrades. Yeah, plus two is still better than, like, everything that <laughs> the RSMF has. He needs to get plus two on something that isn't skirmishes. Because he hasn't built a skirmisher yet. Oh, what happened? Where the fuck did those pikes go? Did he really kill 40 pikes? And then Iron Chef, they died to a county unit. 11. What the fuck is your best... Really killed 40 pikes? Fuck. Is your best... 40 pikes. Do me a favor. I'm guessing you said shut up. <laughs> I guess the Iron Chef should shut up here. Could be wrong. I'll oh, stuff you. <laughs> nice, nice. Fair enough. We need to get this Treb in position. One Treb, just, just on this castle right here. Yeah, I like how you're microing your units. You're doing pretty good. You took a bit of castle fire, but they're more or less taking the damage and trades that they need to. Making sure a blue's army is obviously completely irrelevant. It's pretty easy to do because there's... Well, he's finally gotten the Castle Age upgrades. But you're, you're in Imperial Age now, so you're laughing at Castle Age upgrades. And he's got like... How many skirmishes is this? Can we count the skirmishes? Get into a tragic car accident? What? That's preferable to listening to you, Wine. Yeah, I really do. I pray to God they do. This guy, man. Oh. 
Oh, I hope your I miss that mother and father. I hope your mother and father get in a tragic car accident. Fooey, this guy. Going for the family. Getting a costly as if you're in position. I like this castle because they were push. You can see that they were like slowly developing through here. So it just completely puts a knife in their development. Um, I guess they're going around here now, but. This is something that happened to me before as well. I felt like I was pushing back okay against in one spot, but then I saw a castle in another spot. It killed one of my villagers. It's really annoying. <laughs> multiple castles in multiple places. Like the same same kind of thing would be a castle like right here, and they they probably would have noticed that right away. So you'd probably almost definitely get that castle off if you said like eight, eight villagers, sneaky castle. But you're doing a great job as it is. Um, very salty. Very Christian of you. Yeah. Very Christian prayer. I'm sure God appreciated getting that one. This looks like a slow, slow death now. For um, your smash. I'm pretty sure they should give up soon. Like, We can just attack and move in, I'm pretty sure, at this rate. All we need to do is kill this castle and we can attack and move into the base. Get this trap in position, Iron Chef. Come on. <laughs> I guess if I was in this position, I'd want to be milking him as well. I'd want to be getting every little juicy drop of, uh, of fun out of him before I leave the game. If I am having a fun time with him, that is. It looks like you've done great micro splitting up your, your CA and your have here. Like, this is perfect. You're taking all the right trades in all the right spots. But it looks like Iron Chef's starting to like be slow intentionally, you know, have some fun with the guy. And you might as well, right? What else is the fun of playing a video game? <laughs> this is one castle down and I'm pretty sure you can spam units into this base. Iron Chef just needs to keep producing now. As long as they keep production up, they've won the game. I'm pretty sure this will just snowball. There's almost nothing this player can do here in this situation. Even if a better player took over from Blue right now, there's absolutely nothing. It would take it. Yeah, it will take a miracle for Blue to come back in now. Blue's very in trouble. We just need to just attack move into the base. And Blue will have... Yeah, he's trying to, he's trying to produce here, but it's going to take a while. Blue's not going to have much left. These drips here are interesting. Looks like they're going to go for the, hopefully the TCs now. Maybe you split them up, like one on there, one on there, one on there, one on a range. Just, you know, they're using rangers. Oh yeah, you're entering this. Good Iron Chef. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm imagining you're taking it slow and having fun with it. And that's a good thing, so. Let's not rush it. Let's just enjoy the salt. I don't think he's said anything since. It's very Christian of him. I'm sure he's just busy praying for you, Ryan Chef. He's busy praying for you right now. Oh, you found him! I wonder if this is going to come back later. This probably just came in a front of the waters now, right? Yeah, looks like it. That's funny. I wonder if you're going to come back and kill him there. He's going to get angry at that. He's trying to rebuild here, but it's not going to do enough for this. This is still going to kill him. Oh, spamming two units now. I love how you're rubbing it in that you're using more than one unit. That's that's good. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Look at him go! That's beautiful. Yeah, you're ten times my elo. Hey! Ten, you know what ten times one thousand is? It's ten thousand. Hey, make out of that. We've made one unit. You said the same same thing before, you dingus. You made one unit for 45 minutes. Cool. I don't think so, my dude. We saw we saw scouts into skirms, into knights, into light heavy light heavy cav, into light cav raids. Okay, we've got five main units we've seen so far, at least. Yeah, I know. At least the 45 minutes is, act is well. At least we were over 45 minutes. Help. <sighs> I wonder how much Iron Chef has found. Okay, 
But see how much iron stuff. He's just gonna find this now. He's gonna find that there's some secret. Oh, a secret castle, secret TCs, a lot of secret ranges too. I wonder what they mean to do with these ranges. I guess it's camels. Well, yeah, it looks like they're just they're desperate on the the light cap. Looks like it's just light cap now. It looks like blue's out of gold as well. That wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, blue looks like they're completely out of gold. Hussar gonna come in. That's not gonna be enough. This counter rate's not gonna do it. This, yeah, this is gonna go. Go eventually. It's gonna only really go for so long. These Hussar raids are gonna be a little annoying, but not too bad. Like, you've got so many farms. Ooh! I should do this more often, honestly. Having a few defenses here to actually be ready for these Hussar here. I really like that. I think that's a lot more effective than just having, like, the TC on its own. Having TC plus some military to tank some damage and do some damage as well. That's pretty nice. K to D. Oh, yeah, the K to D is beautiful by NSF. Look at those kills. It's funny how you're sneaking these around. This is a little scary because they're making Hussar. If they happen to have queued all these thimbles backwards, they would have a whole lot of Hussar here ready to snipe these trebs and you'd be a little slower. Like, I'm sure it wouldn't bother you that much. You've, you've got plenty of resources. Look at Iron Chef's um, res resources, guys. 3k gold, 5k fruit wood. He's got nothing to worry about. That's pretty impressive. Awesome. Yeah, they're gonna try to take out the trap, but they're not gonna, it's not gonna happen anymore. You got all your army in this beautiful choke point. You're literally on 25 TC. My dude. 25 literally, huh? One. One, two, three, four. It's four TCs. 40 Cs. Look at your score. You doubled my score. Double score! Wow! I don't know if this guy knows the meaning of doubles or maths at all. This guy doesn't know basic maths. Double score going all in cap archers. Spam into skirms. Didn't I tell you to shut up? That's right. That's right, Iron Chef. Assert dominance. I love how you're letting him live too. You're just like, yep. We killed this castle. He'll just, he'll just sit here now. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is pretty funny. Slowly eating them up. Let's see this. Ah, the trap's on its way. It looks like it's gonna go. I like how they show that the bar's there when it's on its way to un unload. I like that. It looks like we're about to lose a trap. If those camels aren't direct, I finally left. That was amazing smack talk. What a beautiful game, Iron Chef. I, I hope this gets uploaded G -G. to YouTube or something. This is a really G -G fun one. One hour, three minutes. That was quite a game. Really fun one. And um, we got some salt, that's for sure. We definitely sa sailed some salty waves. Um, and we learned a few things, guys. We learned. We learned that um, Iron Chef only spanned one unit. That's what we learned. We learned that Iron Chef had literally 25 TCs. Uh, we we learned that Iron Chef is also a Kumin Pro, an old Kumin Pro, not a new Kumin Pro. Iron Chef is an old Kumin Pro, guys. So we have a lot to take away from this game today. We've uh, we've had a lot of a lot of lessons learned from this game. I'd say. Quite, quite a fun one. Don't forget to spam one unit if you're an old Kumin Pro. <laughs> I hope that guy gets the help. Yeah, me too. Hopefully he, you know, in he a, year, a year down the track he'll be feeling better and won't be trash talking ridiculous things. And hopefully maybe he, he takes a mass class. I hope he takes a few mass classes and learns the meaning of maybe double or 25 or learns like maybe time like 45 minutes maybe he struggles to tell the time you know who knows um <laughs> oh that was that was fun